Texas isn't quite what people who've never been here imagine it to be. Yes, we have oil rigs and armadillos and even bucking cowboys, but what if I told you Houston was also home to piranhas, lions, and even chimpanzees? They're here all right, and closer than you might think. You just have to know where to look. Take the Houston light rail from downtown through the medical center. You might notice a huge monument standing before a giant reflection pool. On the other side of this, across from a governed lake, is the Houston Zoo. The Houston Zoo is a world-class destination today, but this wasn't always the case. It all started with an ostrich egg bought with the saved pennies of local school children. In 1914, the Houston City Council declared the Sam Houston Park ostrich enclosure as Houston's first zoo. In 1922, the ostrich, along with a few monkeys and other small animals, moved from downtown to its permanent home in the new Herman Park, donated by local philanthropist George Herman the same year as it hired its first zookeeper, Hans Nagel. Nagel acquired the animals through a combination of begging, borrowing, and mounting expeditions, occasionally with borrowed equipment. The arena was one of the most popular destinations for zoo guests back then. Most mornings, Nagel could be found inside the arena with a cougar, leopard, or lion presenting training demonstrations. Nagel would train the big cats to play dead, leapfrog, jump hurdles, and sit at a table. More than once, Nagel's training demonstration sent him or his assistant, Tom Baylor, to nearby Herman Hospital. The Flamingo Pool was another early exhibit that helped put the Houston Zoo on the map. The exhibit features some of the first rock work ever constructed, faux concrete trees, and a waterfall. Originally, the work seen in this vintage postcard was contained inside an aviary that housed not only birds, but tortoises as well. The Houston Zoo has changed a lot since those days, but there are still relics that remain to give its visitors clues of the zoo that once was. Today, the Houston Zoological Park sits on 55 acres between the medical center and downtown. Its gates see over 1.8 million guests per year, making it the 10th most visited zoo in the country. It's home to over 6,000 animals that are part of over 900 species. The zoo today contains a variety of species from all around the world. Here, you can see some of the world's most venomous snakes and exotic amphibians in the reptile and amphibian house. The sea lions seem to enjoy their newly renovated pool. Be sure to check the schedule to see when there's a sea lion show. The McNair elephant habitat is undergoing expansion for the largest mammals on land. The zoo's eight elephants will be able to roam the three-acre area when it's completed in 2017. Or meet the queen of the jungle and so many other carnivores as you trek through the wild. In 2000, Houston Zoo brought in one of the brainchilds of Disney's Animal Kingdom Park to help them with their next big project. More than bars and cages, the African forest winds your way into a forest inhabited by gorillas. Opened in 2010, the African forest is a full experience. Here, guests are transported straight into the rich culture of Central Africa in an effort to help preserve it. New CEO Lee Emke is here to complete the zoo's transition from confining to naturalistic for animals and for people. One of his major visions for the zoo's 100th anniversary in 2022 is a satellite zoo outside the city that would allow for more conservation. Ultimately, the nonprofit zoo sticks to the goals listed in its mission statement, fostering appreciation, knowledge, and care for the natural world. The Houston Zoo offers free admission to its guests on the first Tuesday of each month, September through May, from noon until closing. To donate or to find out more, log in www.houstonzoo.org.